You call that an hourly rate? That's way too high. I can't pay that. Where do you come up with that? My stomach feels all queasy. Hi, my, my name is shaking. Brad. I'm a freelance designer with an obscenely high hourly rate. How did I come up with it? Well, I'm greedy and I made up a big number. Just kidding. It makes sense if you break it down. So let's do that. First of all, as we estimate this hourly rate, it's gonna involve math. I'm so sorry about that. I'm a designer. I don't like math, but I think we can handle this. To make it more engaging, I won't be using dollars. I'm gonna be using a more universal Universal currency squirrels. So on one hand, our math is simple. Let's say you have a current salary of 75,000 squirrels. When you leave your job, you want to make about the same amount of money freelancing. So quick math, there's 52 weeks a year. Let's say you work 50 of those weeks. That breaks down to about 1,500 squirrels a week. You got 40 hours a week, that gives us an hourly rate of 37.5 squirrels. Don't worry, buddy, you're gonna get the rest of your tail back in a minute. So I guess that's your hourly rate. End of video, you guys can go home. That was easy. Ah, uh, if only it was that easy. We we gotta talk about taxes. So if you're in the US, at your current job now, you're paying about 15% in taxes. What you don't see as an employee is that the company you're working for is also paying taxes on your behalf. That's another 15%. So as a freelancer, you're the business now. So you've gotta pay that payroll tax. Now, I've heard people say that if it's a freelancer, you should save about a third of your income for taxes at the end of the year. Now, I will say from personal experience, I've never needed to pay that much because of deductions and whatnot, but I think that's a pretty good rule. Much better to have too much money at the end of the year than too little. That extra 15%, however, changes how much money we're gonna have to bring in to make that 75,000 squirrels a year. We need an extra 11,250 squirrels to cover the payroll tax, which brings us to 86,200 and 50 squirrels. Why did I pick squirrels? I can't draw squirrels. Who thought it was a good idea to pick squirrels? All right, I'm, I'm back. Where were we? Right, 86,000 squirrels. But wait, there is more. If your employer has been paying your health insurance, this is another expense you have to take into account. What you pay in insurance varies pretty much by everything imaginable. I honestly don't understand a lick of it. Some people are gonna pay a ton in insurance. Some people are gonna pay less. I'm gonna just go with a nice round number. I pay a little under $1,000 a month personally for me and my family. That's what I'm gonna use for the sake of this example. That's another 12,000 squirrels a year. And I'm gonna add that to our total, which brings us to 98,250 squirrels. Next up, we have business expenses. I have an accountant and a lawyer. I use the accountant quite a bit. I haven't talked to the lawyers in years, thank God. There's also other expenses. You got your software, website hosting, new hardware, like every couple of years, you gotta buy a new laptop or butter churn, depending on what kind of freelancer you are. Fortunately for me, being a designer, I can get away with a lot less overhead. I'm not paying for an office space and all the extra expenses that that comes with. I'm also not paying for any advertising or marketing. A lot of freelancers do. That's something that you should be factoring in. As you add up these expenses, it may seem like a lot, but compared to other businesses, I get off easy. If I ran a restaurant, I need to buy ovens. I need to buy chairs. I need to buy tables. I'd have to hire people to work in the restaurant, serve people. I'd need cash registers. I'd have to get a dumpster. I'd have to buy some raccoons to put in the dumpster. This stuff adds up. For me, I have a pretty conservative number, so I'm gonna say it's only 400 squirrels a month. Add that up, that's 103,050 squirrels. That's what we actually need to make to equal the day job we currently have. So now, let's do our math again. 50 weeks, 40 hours a week, and that gives us 51.53 squirrels. That is our hourly rate. But I'm not done yet. The reality of freelancing is that it is insanely hard to bill 40 hours a week. It can definitely be done, especially if you lock in some long-term contracts, but freelancing work is often piecemeal. A 40-hour project here, 80 hours there, 20-hour project here. And plus, if you talk to anybody who's been freelancing for any length of time, you're gonna hear about dry spells. There are gonna be times when there is no work for days or even weeks, sometimes months at a time. Feast or famine is a phrase on every freelancer bingo card, usually somewhere near Scope Creek. A good friend once told me, assume you're only gonna bill 20 hours a week. Yes, there will be weeks when you bill more, way, way more. There have been weeks where I have billed 60 hours. That's good, that's really good. But there will also be weeks when you bill less and there will be weeks where you bill nothing. And there are gonna be many weeks where you're doing other administrative tasks. It's a good idea not to actually look at your income on a week to week or day to day basis, but take a longer view, even on a month to month basis 
basis, I like to look at my income on a quarterly view. How much money did I make this quarter? How well did I do this quarter? Or even this year? Over longer stretches of time, your income seems to even out and the big months balance out the bad months. There's also a lot of stuff that you're not gonna be able to bill for as a freelancer. Chasing down new clients, emailing people, accounting updates, or changing your portfolio, driving to meetings, chasing the raccoons off from the dumpster. None of that is billable time. Right, that was a tangent. Back to the hourly rate. Let's figure this out. So let's take that big number divided by 50. That gives us 2,061 squirrels a week. But this time we assume that we're only gonna build 20 hours a week, which gives us an hourly rate of 103.05 squirrels. Now you can round that up or you can round it down, whatever you like, it's your business. The rate isn't set in stone. If you get some project that you're only kind of lukewarm on, feel free to raise your rate, make it worth your while. If there's a project that you really, really want, and maybe you're guaranteed a lot of hours over the courses of a, like a long stretch of time, feel free to lower your hours. It's your business. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful and I hope that works out for you. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down below. How do you figure your freelance rate? What did I miss? How does this differ from like occupation to occupation? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. Also check out some of my other animated videos where I cover various things. That's all I've got for today. I'll talk to you guys later.